for the head of this bear ring stacker, I'm going to be using some glue yarn and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And for round one, we're we'll start with a magic circle. So take the yarn, wrap it around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, chain one to secure your yarn. And now we're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you'll grab that tail and give it a pull. And that closes up the hole. And at this point, you'll place your stitch marker. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So go into the stitch, do a single crochet, back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. And that is an increase. And you're going to continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. So there's one single crochet and then the next stitch gets the increase. and repeat. So one single crochet and then one increase. Continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase and at the end of this round you should end up with 18 stitches. For round four we'll be doing a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one increase. So here's one, two, increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round five, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one increase. Here's one, two, three, increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with a total of 30 stitches. Before moving on, now's a good time to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. And now for rounds six through 15, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 15, you should still have 30 stitches. For round 16, we'll be working in the back loops only. So when you look at the top of your stitches. You've got two loops. You've got the one in the front and then the one behind. So you're gonna leave that front loop unworked and only go into the back loops. And we're going to do two single crochets and one increase for our repeating sequence. So going into the back loop only Here's one and two and then increase. And you'll continue to do that all the way around, remembering to only go into that back loop of each stitch. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 40 stitches. For round 17, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of four single crochet and one increase. And you'll be going back to working under both loops, so the full stitch. So 
but there's one, two, three, four, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 48 stitches. For round 18, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 56 stitches. For round 19, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of six single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 64 stitches. For rounds 20 through 30, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 30, you should still have 64 stitches. For round 31, we'll do a repeating sequence of six single crochet and one decrease. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one decrease. So you'll go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up your loop, grab the yarn and pull through all three of those loops, and that is your decrease. And so now you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 56 stitches. For round 32, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 56 stitches. For round 33, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and now one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 48 stitches. For round 34, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round 35, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of four single crochet and one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 40 stitches. For round 36, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of eight single crochet and one decrease. And there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and one decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat eight single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. Before moving on, we're going to take this part and we're going to poke it up to where it's inside the head. And this will create the space that sits on the post. So we're not turning the whole thing inside out. We're just pushing that piece in like that. And you'll know where to stop because it'll be where we did the back loops only. And that's where it should fold in. So we're just folding it in on itself. And then we're gonna add the stuffing around this part making sure that we don't accidentally push it back out. So if you keep your fingers in that space while you add your stuffing, and just work, work around that inner piece of the head. And then we can add more stuffing later. I'm gonna put some over on this side. Get that pushed in. And then just make sure that this space stays open for where the post goes. And then we'll add some more stuffing before we finish. For round 37, we'll do a repeating sequence of four single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, four, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with a total of 30 stitches. For round 38, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one two, three, and one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. Before moving on to round 39, go ahead and add the rest of your stuffing Make sure that you did not push this part back out, so make sure that's still holding its shape. And then you're ready to move on to round 39. And in this round, we will be doing a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one. two, and decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 18 stitches. For round 40, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round 41, we're going to remove the stitch marker 
and you're going to continuously decrease all the way around and you'll probably go around at least two times but you're just going to continuously decrease until this hole is closed and I've already gotten a number of the decreases done so I'm just going to continue to go around until I can't really do the decreases anymore. And then when you get to the point where there's just a couple of stitches, you can take your hook under a stitch, go straight across and out the other side of the hole and do a slip stitch. And then just go under another stitch for one more slip stitch and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail because we're going to need it to secure the top of the head to this inner part of the space where the post goes. So now to finish this part of the head off, I'm going to take my yarn needle, I'm gonna go under a stitch and then through one of those last decreases that I did, pull nice and tight and that'll flatten out that top part for you. I'm gonna go under a stitch here and tie a knot to secure the yarn Make sure that part's not going anywhere. Now we're gonna secure the top of the head to this inner part that we had poked through. So we're gonna take the yarn needle, go straight through the top and come up through the center here. And you don't wanna pull so tight that you're pulling this down. So make sure that stays and keeps its shape. And then we're gonna go back up through. It's kind of hard to see. So I've pulled the yarn through. I'm gonna skip a couple of stitches and then poke it back up through the top of the head. And pull. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times. I'm gonna go back through Kind of use your fingers to feel where it's coming through and pull it through and then we'll go move it over a couple of stitches and poke it back up through the top of the head and this will just keep this inner part from popping back out. So that'll hold that in place. And uh, I'm running out of yarn here, so this will be a good time to go ahead and tie one final knot. And then just hide that tail inside the head. And this time, you don't want to go all the way through, so just make sure you're staying on this outer part and then snip off the excess yarn. And there we go. There is the head. Let's poof that back up a little bit. And so we've got our head and we've got the space in here where it sits on the post. For the ears, we're going to continue with the blue yarn and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and begin with a magic circle. Chain one to secure. And then for round one, we're gonna do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five and six. Now we're gonna pull the yarn and place the stitch marker.
for round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round five, you're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, three, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. Before moving on, now is a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. And now for rounds six and seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round seven, you should still have 30 stitches. For round eight, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one decrease. So here's one, two, three, decrease. So you'll go into the stitch, bring up the loop, go into the stitch, bring up the loop, and pull through all three. And there's your decrease. So now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round nine, we'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one decrease. There's one, two, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round 10, We'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. And here I have finished round 10. I've removed the stitch marker. And now we're going to take the two sides here and pinch them together and running your hook through the stitches on both sides of that fold. So make sure you're going all the way through. We're just going to single crochet. And you're gonna do this going all the way across. So going through the stitches on both sides of the fold, continue to single crochet all the way across. And then when you get to this very last stitch, we'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail so you can use the tail to sew the ear onto the head. And you will need to make two. Once you have two ears made, it'll be time to attach them to the head. And I've already got one on here, and so we'll be placing the second one. We're a little distance from the center where we ended the top of the head. You can put them closer together if you want, or spread them further apart. You just kind of eyeball it and decide where you want it to be. And so now we're going to take the yarn needle, go under 
a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the bottom of that ear and under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the ear. And you're just going to continue to do this all the way across, just under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. And then when you come to the end here, quick check, make sure I'm still kind of even. I'm going to go under a stitch in the head. I'm going to go through this edge stitch here on the edge of the ear and back through a stitch in the head and come around behind the ear. And we're going to work along this back side of the ear and that'll just make it really secure. So just go through a stitch in the ear, under a stitch in the head, pull down nice and tight, under a stitch in the ear, through a stitch in the head. And this also helps make the ears stand up a little bit better so they're not falling over. And then once you come to this other end, we'll go under a stitch in the head and come back through one of the side stitches on this side of the ear. Poke it down through the head. Bring it kind of towards the back. And then we're going to tie a knot. So just go under the stitch. And before pulling all the way through, Take your yarn needle through that loop and give it a pull. And now we're going to hide that tail in the head. Once again, making sure you're not going all the way through into this space when you do that. And now we'll just snip off the excess yarn and that hides the tail. It'll pop back in there. And there we go. We have attached the ears. For the eyes, we'll switch to the black yarn and continuing to use the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, we'll begin with a magic circle, chain one, and for round one, you're going to do six single crochet into this magic circle. That's three, four, five, six. Now just grab the tail and give it a pull. And there's only one round for this. So now we will slip stitch into that first stitch that you did and tie off. And cut the yarn long enough to where you have enough for sewing it onto the head. And then make sure you take time to weave in that beginning tail. And you will need to make two. Once you've made both eyes, you'll be ready to attach them. I've already got one on here. So we'll just line them up. You want to make sure you keep them even. And you'll thread your yarn needle and then just go through a stitch in the head and then through a stitch in the eye. And then through a stitch in the head. And through a stitch in the eye. And you'll just continue to do this all the way around. So through the head, through the eye, Continuing to move around. There we go. And up through the stitch in the eye. And I want to make sure that I keep the bottom of the eye 
even with the other one. Up through the eye and through the head. And you'll do this all the way around till you get back to where you started. And then once you've come all the way around, just go under a stitch in the head and then you'll be ready to tie off. So we'll just go under a stitch and then run the needle through that loop and pull tight. And then hide the tail inside the head and snip off the excess yarn. And if you pull a little bit tight, That'll pop that end back inside and it's all hidden. And there we've got the eyes attached. For the muzzle, we'll be back to the blue yarn and continuing with our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a magic circle and chain one to secure. And now we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle for round one. There's two, three, four, five, six. And give that tail a pull to close up the hole and to place your stitch marker. For round two, we'll be doing one increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you'll have 18 stitches. For round four, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, three, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six and seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round seven, you should still have 30 stitches. And here I am at the end of round seven. I've removed the stitch marker and now we're just going to slip stitch into that next stitch and tie off. And you will want to make sure that you're leaving a long enough tail to sew this on. I usually do twice the length of around the edge and that gives me ample yarn to tie it on or sew it on. And then now you also want to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail. Before sewing the muzzle in place, I'm going to take a safety nose. And this is the kind with the post on the back. And we're going to attach this. I'm going to go about one, two, three, rows up so around round three and poke that through and then you'll take your backing 
and place it on that post in the back. And then this is just a stylus that I took the rubber tip out of and it works pretty good for pushing this on. You can try to do it with your fingers if you want, but I find that this just makes it a little bit easier to pop that in place. And then that's not coming off and you don't have to worry about a baby pulling or biting that nose off. Now we're ready to add some stuffing and sew it onto the head. Once you're ready to attach the muzzle to the head, I'm gonna put a little bit of stuffing in here to help it hold its shape while you're sewing it on. And you can add more later if you need to. And we're gonna line it up just under the eyes, making sure that we've got that nose facing the right way. And then you're just going to go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle and under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the muzzle. And you're gonna do this all the way around, making sure that you're keeping the muzzle straight and you line the top up just below the eyes so you'll continue to do that until you get back to the beginning. And here I've come all the way back around to where I started. I've come up through that final stitch. And so now I'm just gonna go under a couple of the stitches here to smooth that out. And then we'll go under a stitch to tie off. And before Pulling it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and pull nice and tight. And then we'll just run that yarn needle through the muzzle and cut off the excess yarn. And there we have attached the muzzle. And now all we'll need to do is add a little bit of a smile. To add the mouth, we're going to take some black yarn and on one end we'll make a slip knot. The other end we'll thread the yarn needle. I'm going to pull that closed a little bit. And now we'll go under a stitch in the mouth. Let's see, I think right about here I'll do. And when you get to that slip knot, take your needle and go through that loop. Pull nice and tight. And then you'll just pull that down. We'll weave in that end later after we're done. Now we're gonna go back down through the stitch that we came out of and move over to the next stitch. And before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull. Now we'll go back down through the stitch we came out of, move to the next stitch. And we're just following the line of this round as it goes. And I'm gonna go at least one more And you can decide if you wanna do a full smile and go all the way back up, or if you wanna do just a little half smile. I'm gonna just do a half smile. So now to tie off, I'm gonna to jump to this next stitch, come up, go under the loop, and tie my knot. And then we'll go down through that same stitch and Push that tail through and we'll grab this beginning tail here and do the same. Just go down through the hole that we already used and push it through. And then we'll just snip off the excess yarn. And then 
just take the needle to puff that back up. And to make sure your ends are hiding. And there we go. We've added a little bit of a smile to our bear. And here we have the bear topper placed on the post with the rings. And you can find the link in the description box below to see the tutorial on making the post and the rings. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this.